We can use loop to execute a block of code over and over again until we want to stop it. So to start a loop, we use loop keyword and curly brackets. Instead of this curly brackets, we will write some code. We want this loop to execute. So we just simply will print out hello. If we run this code, Yarn terminal cargo run. It will print out a hello forever. And uh, we can press press control plus C on our keyboard to stop it. We can use break keyword inside a loop to stop this loop. So first let's create a variable, mute variable A and give it a value zero. And then let's start a loop and uh, curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, every time this A's value will Plus one, and uh, then let's let's print out uh, this s value, and uh, we start a um, if expression. One condition, um, s value equal to ten, and uh, we will break this loop, uh, just stop uh, execute uh, this loop. Uh. So in our terminal, let's cargo run. You will you will see in our terminal it will print out a uh, one two three four until the value is ten. Then this loop uh, will stop. We can use the continue keyword uh, to skip the, the rest uh, of the, the iteration of the loop uh, and uh, uh, go straight to the next uh, iteration. So here, uh, let's uh, um, create a um, if expression. 1 is value equal to 5. Let's just uh, print uh, out uh, a is 5. And then let's uh, place continue keyword uh, here. And uh, this time let's run our code. You will see it will print out uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, tell the value is 5. Uh, it will print out uh, is 5. But uh, it will skip uh, the uh, skip uh, print out uh, the 5. Because we place continue here, and uh, this part of the, the code of the, the iteration will be skipped later, and uh, it will start the next iteration, and uh, it will start to print out uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, and uh, until 10, it will break uh, this loop. We can use the loop to assign a value to a variable. Here, let's create a variable, use light keyword, uh, and give it a result uh, and the equal sign to this loop. Uh, and then after this break keyword, uh, let's return this uh, final value of the this a variable. And uh, here, then in the at the end, uh, let's uh, just uh, print uh, out uh, result uh, y results value is result. Then in our terminal, let's cargo run. You can see uh, at the end, uh, it will print out a uh, result uh, is 10. Here we create a loop, uh, and inside of this loop, uh, there is another loop. Uh, and uh, when this loop uh, begins, it uh, will go to this inner loop. Uh, and uh, this inner loop, uh, uh, every time, it will, this value will minus 1. And tell this, this value equal to 9, it will break uh, this inner loop and uh, go back to this outer loop. And, uh, Every time this auto loop will its value will plus one, and uh, and the next time uh, when this uh, auto loop uh, begin, it will um, go back this inner loop again, and uh, tell this bit value equal to nine, and it will go back to this uh, auto loop tell this its value equal to to two, and uh, then it will break this auto loop. Um, if we want uh, uh, this uh, break keyword uh, inside of this inner loop uh, can only break this inner loop uh, and uh, this uh, break keyword uh, inside of this outer loop uh, can break uh, this outer loop. So if we want to uh, place a uh, break keyword uh, inside of this inner loop to break this outer loop, uh, we can give this outer loop a uh, label. Uh, to start a label, we use a single quotation mark, then give it a name, loop 1, and a column. And then we just give this auto loop a, a label, loop 1. And uh, we can remove this 
break uh, inside uh, this outer loop uh, and uh, put a uh, here in inside uh, this inner loop uh, if a value equal to two and uh, clip brackets and uh, break uh, and uh, put the label uh, single quotation marker loop one here out of loop uh, let's print out uh, uh, its final value final a is a so in our terminal let's car go run you can see at the end uh, final is value is two so i think this are some basic about a uh, loop hope i see you next time